Daniel Senise is an accomplished painter whose work has brilliantly spanned for the last 40 years in Brazil as one of the utmost contemporary artists in that country. Since the turn of the last century, Senise has sought to find a way to paint without painting to paint without the use of brushes or brush strokes. As a result of that process, he has achieved a sort of a strokeless painting. He still produces images on painting support, canvases, but he based them on a masterful application of two basic graphic techniques, monotyping and collage. In the 80s, I estava meio patinando, literalmente, no chão do meu ateliê, que tinha muita matéria. Um dia, minha tela, por acidente, colou no chão do ateliê. Eu usava tinta óleo, tinha muita tinta óleo no chão. E a parte que grudou no chão, ela trouxe essa matéria. Eu achei muito mais interessante esse lado que saiu do que o que eu estava trabalhando. Eu levei uns 10 anos para incorporar isso de uma forma mais consciente. Né? Eu criei uma técnica de fazer essas impressões em espaços, espaços fechados abandonados ou que não tem pouco uso, eu imprimo geralmente eu imprimo o chão sempre. Há uns 5, 8 anos atrás, eu imprimi a parede de uma casa. Eu pego os panos muito grandes, 50 metros por 3, por 2, ponho no chão. Jogo uma mistura de cola cascoreis com água bem líquida, espalho com rodo. Eu desenho essa imagem nessa placa, isso é uma placa de alumínio atrás. E aí eu vou procurando pedaços do pano para compor essa imagem, do, dessas monotipias. Esses lugares que eu imprimo, que eu faço as monotipias, eu chamo de meu ateliê. Senise's investigation, while being strictly artistic, constrained within the limits of his works, also has a philosophical density, one that resonates from the images he produces, from their specific factura, it as if Senise's question was not the end of images, nor the end of painting, that truism, but the very ruin of images, the trace, the rest of images. The sight of images is therefore a telling title for this exhibition, since the sight of images can be said of many instances, but always, and especially, it can be said of the sight of their vanishing, the sight where images are erased, turned off, where images become spectral reminders of what they were. Senise has included in the show two images of Veronica's, the sacred veil where Christ's face was prodigiously imprinted following all Christian narratives. The Veronica, as it is Narcissus' water mirror, is a powerful image within the Western culture iconographic jurisprudence. Spectral by negativity, by erasure, Senise's empty and monumental architectures and Veronica's contrast with a series of dense, smoky, charcoal-based accidental abstractions where it is the accumulation of matter, not its reduction, but is stressed. Clouds of black and grey, stormy chance of landscapes that stand as testimony of images after the life of images, as images persistent beyond their fleeting existence as images beyond their erasure. <laughs>